Visuals are important for video games. It's the first thing that everyone watches on the cover of any Steam page. And after watching some devlogs for Punch a Bunch, I realized something. My video game looks like sh**. Well, not like that, to be honest, it only looks boring. So I changed my art style reference to be both Punch a Bunch and the almost free to play game Fall Guys. Why? Because they look cute. And it could be funny to have a contrast between the cute art style and the demonic explosive gameplay of a bullet hell. And the next step is to take the model of the flamethrower and handgun and... We have the soft art style that I was looking for. And to be honest, I feel like it gives a sense of plastic toys. And it's easier to produce because instead of making textures, it's more focused on materials and 3D modeling. And after having the weapons on the scene, I noticed something. My game has a bluff for a character. So the next task and the most time consuming thing that I decided to do was to create the model and overall animations of the main character. This is the first time that I animate in 3D. So hopefully everything will go silky smooth. Obviously, the first thing was to take some good references. <coughs> and once having the base, I made the changes that I wanted to make for my character to stand out. And as well, I based all of it from a small concept art that I created. The main idea was to create a character based on McCready from the movie The Thing. But after realizing that it would be time consuming to do the hair, I decided to go for the good old beanie. And as well, because the first try of making the hair looked like this. Now we can focus completely on making the animations, but something that is important first is to make a rig. Rigging refers to the process of creating the bone structure of a 3D model, and this bone structure is used to manipulate the 3D model like a puppet to animate it. And after I made some bones for the character, it was time to animate. And now, after fixing the character bones and changing the weight painting, taking advantage of the style, I decided to do some fun animations. Usually when I animate, I do some acting while animating to have a bit of, you know, the feel that I want for this animation. It is like a recreation thing. And after I finished the idle, shooting, throwing and running animation, it was time to send it to Unity. And overall the experience from importing from Blender to Unity was easy. Blender allows you to just save the .blend file from Blender and click and drag, you know, towards Unity and it will export with everything. But you need to take the full timeline of the animation and separate it each chunk of animations. And after making the animator work with the code, bada bim bada boom, we finally have a full character with a chill vibe. And to add a bit of chill vibe to the game, I decided to create some grenades. The model itself, it was really easy. The tricky thing was to create the explosion and throwing. But that's why we have an animation for throwing. And inside it, I added an animation event. So once the animation is in the middle of the throwing, it activates the code for throwing the grenade. And once his timer goes off, just creates some particle systems with box meshes and some fancy material that looks fancy with the bloom effect, you know, post-processing. But there's something that I haven't talked about on this devlog, and that's the overall snow system. To be honest, I'm not a genius in shaders, and just took this 60 second tutorial and follow along, and added a BFX graph that makes the falling snow. And the bit about that snow ground shader is that it is interactive, so explosions react with it, and the characters as well. So shout out to Daniel Santaya for a very concise and helpful tutorial. And with that, we have a beautiful and dorky new art style, very simple and somewhat beautiful. So yeah, I hope you find this video as well entertaining. I am trying to make explosive videos, you know, boom, very interesting, interesting videos. Yeah, happy week and happy game dev.